What the hell is that? The good to break. Rats everywhere. Rats here. Hello everyone, and don't worry, no rats were hurt in the making of this video. I didn't just kick a rat across the garden on YouTube. You'll often find me kicking rats out here, but not on camera. Yeah, but what we're gonna be doing today is figuring out the problem of rats getting up drain pipes. And we have had a problem in our local area, literally the same like run of drain pipe here. So this is something I have to get sorted out. So I went online, went and got myself what's called a rat wall, this little beast here. And I thought, well, I checked out on YouTube. There weren't many videos on how to sort this out. So I thought I'd make a video of me fitting this rat wall and seeing if it works. I'm also going to be using Cumberland sausages in this video, all right? To prove that this rat wall works. Anyway, let's get on with the video, guys. And if you've got a problem with rats, comment below. If you like this video, hit that like and please subscribe as well. There'll be links to my vlog channel and also to our Amazon shop where you can actually buy a rat wall. Let's get on with the video. See you soon. Hold tight. Problem with the rat and the rat in the pipe. Let's get it sorted now. Oh, oh yes, yes. Sorry guys, got to use an old bit of tile. So we've got two blocks of houses like this. We've got our drain and there's a divide between the two houses. We've got a manhole there. This is our, this is the manhole we're going to be working on. The next door, we've got a manhole going into their one. So that's like that. These guys have got a manhole there, a manhole there and that there. And these guys, well, actually no one knows. So we're going to be talking about the problem is in this house here. This is the problem. So the house that I'm talking about had a lot of plumbing work done in it, all of it which that was done by me. We did underfloor heating in there, we did um, toilets in there, we did everything and I filmed a lot of videos in there. I even filmed getting in there Aqualies and Midas shower, all right? So lots of good videos there. Anyway, about a year and a half later, I got a phone call, water's coming through the ceiling downstairs. I'm like, oh my God, what's going on here? Huh. So I thought I'd better go over there and figure out what's happened and I'd never seen anything like it. The toilet pan connectors at the back upstairs had been chewed through by rats. Um, and right down the end of our gardens here, there's like loads of horses and therefore there's a lot of horse poo that the person who owns the horses decided to pile up all their horse poo up to the back of our bloody fences, all right? The kitchens were full of flies and obviously horse poo brings wets. So what happened was rats can get up four inch drain pipes really, really easily. Um, they press themselves out. They've got massive pecs rats have. Um, and they can shuffle their way up there. But look, the long and the short of it is, is that rats got up into their, to the backs of their toilets. They chewed through the rubber seals, created leaks. They chewed through um, a special concertina waste pipe that we had going to a tile vent. Um, and then they got into the loft. So it was a real, real big issue. Now, obviously looking at this little diagram that we got here, this is the house with the problem. And we are linked, a referable link to that house, okay? So what I want to do is put a rat stop in. And I thought literally, I've never done a video on this sort of thing. It's a very unusual plumbing video. So let's get on with it and have a look at what I found um, and how I stopped it. George did kill a massive rat that was laying over there. And I was like, mate, that is good work for a 13 year old tabby beast. So yeah, George has killed one rat, but then, he went back to bed, typical, and uh, he can't be asked anymore. So anyway, so here's the rat wall, okay? Um, this is the four inch version, comes in another version as well. There's a six inch version, got a little warning thing. So if, you, uh, if you're in a public area or whatever, you can pop that in to warn people that there's a rat wall in there. And effectively, it's like a non-return valve for rodents. So what it does, look, if you look at that, Everything that I want to go that way, like my poo, use condoms, syringes. So if you've got rats down there and they're coming up and you can hear them scurrying, believe me, a few doors down, they could hear them scurrying. I then asked my next door neighbor as well. I was like, mate, have you heard any noises up your pipe? And he's like, I've heard a bit of scurrying. I was like, right, you've got a rat problem as well. So I'm going to go and fit one over it is next door as well. So they're very, very simple. You've got a small tool that can come with it. You know, if you've got quite a deep manhole, You've got like a meter rod that you can use to tighten this nut up. So the idea is, right, you tighten the nut up and what that does, that constricts this, this sort of semicircular shape. So you can then insert it into the four inch pipe and then you release the nut, it spreads and then jams itself into the four inch pipe. Um, obviously it lets everything through that way, but in a minute I'm gonna test that and then it stops rats coming up the other way. Like I said, this is going to be an incredibly simple video because I'm telling you about a product solution which is simple to install and does its job. So if you do have a problem with rats, basically fit one of these. Let's just get it installed. Let's stop talking about it. Let's have a look. Never seen a look at so lovely as you did tonight. Never seen the stars shine so bright. Half your poo. Right, so let's tighten that up a bit. Ah. Oh, oh. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> Hello rats, can you hear me? 
If you can see down there, guys, there's actually rat droppings down there. So that's pretty cray cray. So look, usually you'd put this in like so, and then you'd undo this bit, and then that would splay it out and that'd work okay. But because we've got the pole, and I don't want to get my hands down there or dirty, and this is a good idea really, because it means that you don't have to get your hands down there or dirty, which is wicked. You put this pole on here, do that up. Now the pole is like an extra cost. Um, you don't really have to get it if you don't want it. It's just one of them things, guys. So it wants to go in like that. So there's our flap that way. Right, so lower it in. Get it into the four inch like that, okay? And then out of shot just up here, there's a hole where we just put our screwdriver through. We undo this and then that should spread. Right, so there we go. It's installed down there, a tiny little bit loose, but after a while, the, um, the sort of constriction I put on those little, the little metal bit started to sort of widen and it's now sort of nice and firmly installed. It's nice and firm down there now, so it's already, I don't know what that big blob of diarrhea is there. Probably blame that on Emily, I think. I bought some sausages. These are a very accurate constitution for me. I'm not a vegan, you can tell that. Oh yeah, because we're going upstairs to my house that isn't finished yet, as you all know. This is our rat catcher. This is what he's doing at the moment. Any rats out there you want to kill, mate? Huh? Oi, oi. George, do you want to kill any rats? Where the rats gone? Look at his belly. Oh, he's so scrubbable. This is usually what happens when I do a poo. Oh, mate. Well, right, okay, so that's probably a standard poo there. Hygienic man that cares about the world. I'm a very green person. I usually only wipe with one bit of toilet paper. Actually, I tell a lie, it's usually it's about, oh, probably about that much. For clarification, I'm a folder, not a scruncher. And to make it fully accurate as well, a bit of right guard down there. Yeah. Let's see if rat wool can keep the rats out and also get rid of the the sausages. Let's see if we can get rid of the sausages. All right, Emily, you ready? She's up there, hold on, look, there she is. Look, I haven't, I haven't finished that bit yet. All this wood's coming off. Uh, this is getting rendered now, I hate that stuff, it's awful. Right, flush the bog now. Here we go. Here it comes. I can hear it. See if the sausages get through. Oh my God, did you see that? Just get through. Oh my god, did you see <laughs> If those sausages get trapped, that's food for the rats, isn't it? We're feeding the rat population. So there we go, guys. I can't really recommend rat wall enough. Like I said, I've left a link in my Amazon shop, so you can click on that now and go over there and have a look. We've got a few areas on there now. We've got tools I love, power tools, and also products that are featured in videos. Also, there'll be a link as well appearing for my vlog channel, and all these links will be in the description below as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's been a bit silly, but it is an important issue. It's something we do have to get figured out sometimes. Anyway, please hit that subscribe button. Please comment on this video as well if you've had a rat problem, or if you are just a problem. Uh, also comment on this video, I've said that. Uh, like as well, God, I feel like Alan Partridge sometimes. And, uh, and please come back next week. We've got 300 odd videos now on plumbing, loads of them, knocking on 120,000 subscribers now. Thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. <sighs> like I said as well, no rodents were hurt in this video. They're down there now, they can't get up. I mean, really, just imagine sitting on a toilet and a rat biting you on the bum. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Remember, everyone, to hold tight. I don't want those rats to die in my dream pie. I'd rather they died somewhere else. They goddamn stinking vomit, and they are probably eating them sausages right now. And the rat's head peers from out of the water And grubs you on your scrotum The pain would be unbearable And to be honest, it would be quite shocking To have a rat bite you there Damn,
and keep vomiting And they're probably bleeding them sausages right now Now I'm staying the red wall I know that my scrotum is safe from the little nippers of a little rat they'll never be able to latch on or even get a pubic hair oh no because I started to trim them whenever they asked me